हेलो एवरी वन होप यू आर लर्निंग वेल सो इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस दी थर्ड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लीड कोड वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट थ्री फोर वन इट्स अ मीडियम लेवल प्रॉब्लम टूडेज कॉन्टेस्ट सीम्स टू बी रिलेटिवली ईजियर देन दी अदर कॉन्टेस्ट डेट यू गेट टूडे वी गॉट टू ईजी प्रॉब्लम वन मीडियम एंड वन हार्ड सो लेट्स सी वट दिस प्रॉब्लम इज आस्किंग एस टू डू सो द प्रॉब्लम नेम इज मिनिमम एडिशंस टू मेक वैलिड स्ट्रिंग सो गिवेन ए स्ट्रिंग वर्ड टू विच यू कैन इंसर्ट ए बी और सी एनी वेयर एंड एनी नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स ओके Return the minimum number of letters that must be inserted so that word becomes valid. Now, what is a valid word? A string is called valid if it can be formed by concatenating the string A B C several times. Okay. For example, this is a, this is the first example, right? So you have a character B. Okay. Now you have to insert minimum number of A B or C such that the final string is a concatenation of A B C A B C any number of times, right? So this is a B, right? so if we insert an a here and a c here so this is the i i just inserted two characters and this is becoming a b c a concatenation of a b c right i have just done it one time okay so two characters so two is my answer minimum number of characters that has to be inserted is two right now this is a a a right so a a a now just see this is a this is a so i have to insert b and c so this becomes a b c then a a then again i insert a b c so this becomes a b c a b c and a then you again insert a b c i mean b c right so 2 plus 2 plus 2 total six characters were inserted to form it a concatenation of a b c right because a a a so for this a you insert b c here b c here b c so six characters inserted right now this is a b c so this already is a valid word right so you don't insert any character remember we have to return the minimum number of letters that must be inserted right let me take some uh, extra examples like for example if i have b c right so you just insert and insert a letter a and this becomes a b c got it suppose you have a, what do you call it c b okay if you have c b so what do you will do now for this c obviously to to make it a valid a b c you need to insert a and b here okay now this is done two characters inserted now for this b you have to insert a c here and a a here so total four characters are inserted right so this is the problem that you have to insert minimum number of characters okay so um, yeah just a second yeah so if you see the constraints the constraints are very very less words dot length is less than equals to 50 and obviously words contains letter a b c okay so i have um, what the problem is asking me to do i have not done that i have uh, probably sort of have reversed engineered it so in this case what i have done you take a string suppose i take a b c okay i take a b c now if i take this example so i start with a b c because i need to finally form a concatenation of a b c a b c a b c and so on so you pick a b c and then see that after deleting some characters can you form this input string okay can you form this input string so the number of deletions that you do will be your answer for example if i start with a b c okay i have to form b i have to form b so i delete a okay i delete a and i delete c so i do two deletions and i finally come to my answer so two is your answer okay let's take example of a a a so a a a so you start with a b c you start with a b c you have to form a a a okay so this is the first character this is the first character okay this is formed using this okay then you move here you have to check for another a but you cannot find another a so just one occurrence of a b c is not enough okay so you now check with a b c a b c that means two times two times a b c so again you have to make it a a a okay so this is a yes then you delete b and c then this is an a yes you are done now for this a you do not have a you do not have any extra a in your string right so that means concatenating a b c two times also does not give you a a now you try a b c a b c and a b c okay now see whether you can form a a a or not so here this is a this is a remove b and c here this is a this is a remove b and c here this is a this is a remove b and c so how many deletions did i do here i did six deletion so six is my answer okay so this is how you do i would say it's a brute force approach reason being you try every concatenation so you first start with abc then you add abc then you add abc 
so as soon as you find that using this string you can form the input string that will be your answer because you are already starting with a string with a concatenation of minimum length right so that is your answer so if i show you the code it's exactly similar what i what i've told you this is the main function this is the word okay so i start with abc i start with abc initially my answer is zero okay i run an infinite loop and i say is valid so this is valid function is doing what i just told you so if is valid that means using the current word if i can form the input string then what i have to do i have to return my answer what is my answer the current word that means a concatenation of abc abc minus word dot length because this is the number of characters you delete right so this is your answer however if this was not valid so in your current word that was abc add extra abc okay so by doing this you are adding abc 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 and keep on checking okay now what this function is valid is doing just see this is the input string and this is the current word which i want to transform to the input word okay so again i have I've just traversed it so this is the length of the two strings i and j are two pointers now if the if the current character in both of the string is same so i do i plus plus why because i have to form a a a with suppose a b c a b c and a b c okay so i am standing here if these two match that means now i need to check for this string i need to check for this character in my input string right however if these two no, if these two do not match then obviously i'll have to move forward means my main priority is checking this character once i am able to form this character i move forward so that is why whenever there is a match then only you move the pointer from your input string otherwise even if it matches or not you will move your pointer in the uh, word in which you, which you are trying to transform to the input string right basic stuff how you check for a what do you call it a subsequence okay this basic stuff so once you do it when you come out of the loop all you need to do you need to check that have you consumed all the characters in your input, input string meaning were you able to find all the characters so if i equals equals l1 okay input string length you return true getting it so true will be returned that means it is forming a valid string right and finally you return your answer so this is how uh, i solve this problem uh, so do let me know in case of any queries also if you like the video then do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well and yeah let me know in the comment section if you have any queries i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye